Hey, what's up guys? It's the Dark Shadow here. Today I'm going to be bringing you another LEGO review. So this is from the LEGO DC Super Heroes line. Uh, it's the Batman, ver the Batman, the Attack of the Talents, sorry. Uh, set number 76110 with 155 pieces. Now overall, I think this is actually a pretty decent set. Now, I mean, that's pretty much it until I get to the end of the video. But yeah, let's get started with our first minifigure. So, our first minifigure that we have right here, also I don't have my stand today, sorry about that. We have the Armored Up Batman, and if you look underneath here, it shows a dual printed headpiece right there. One being battle damaged, and one looking completely fine. And he also has this armor piece, which I believe was used in, uh, it was during the Batman v Superman line, Dawn of Justice. But yeah, I do like this piece though. It looks really nice. And here's what his... And here's what he looks like underneath. There's this bat symbol. I really, I really do not like that they made it so... Like, it's completely off right there. Which sucks. <laughs> like, but yeah. I do like how it's all armored up and everything like that. But yeah. That's pretty much it for this figure, so let's get on to the next one. Also, he comes with two batterings as well. So the next somewhat figure we have right here is Ace the Bat, the Bat Hound. And he's only exclusive to this set, so this is the first time we are ever getting him. And most like, and like literally he does have the same type of style as uh, Crypto from that Superman set. But yeah, I do like the little addition of the small little cape and also the bat symbol. I think this is a really nice uh, Ace the Bat Hound. But usually when I see uh, Ace in like the TV series of uh, Batman Beyond, he is a Great Dane, like a black Great Dane. Well, overall, I do like this figure and I can't wait to put him with the rest of the Bat family. So, next we have the two... Uh, Court of Al, uh, Court of Al's Talons right here, and they're both the same exact figure, just with different varieties of weapons. I do lo love the inclusion that they did with this because not many, like not many people know about the the Court of Al's, and I think it's really nice that they added in, them into a Lego set. He also has a dual printed headpiece, not really like for uh, face face printing, but more so just back printing, which I think is really nice. And that's what he looks like on the torso on the back. And he comes with these two golden claws right here. And this com one comes with two golden katanas. And it's just the same exact figure, just with different weapons. All right, so let's get on to the actual vehicle itself. I will talk a little bit about these things. These are basically inclusion by Le an inclusion by Lego. Basically like having, a, I don't know, like weapons or something like that. But they just never make sense to me. It is nice to get them though, but I just don't really have a use for them. So for the actual vehicle itself, I'm, I don't really know what to call this. I'm going to say it's like a substandard bat tank. <laughs> like I just don't really know what to call this thing. But yeah, I do really like its design and how it has these on them as well. It's like a, it's like a nice small inclusion and if you want to just take them off like that, then you can. But it is nicer to keep it on so it won't show that up in front. But yeah, it has two uh, stud shooters right here, which I still hate and I will always hate until the rest of my time. <laughs> but yeah. And we also get these two types of batterings. I don't really know. I think they are batterings, but I just don't really know. Like, they just... Like, LEGO added all these into them. Into these sets. And it just never made sense to me. But, yeah. And it has three different types of wheels on here as well. And, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it. Overall, it's... I wouldn't say a decent... A decent build I would say it's an okay build because it's all bulky bulky and you can still see like a ton of studs in the front as well I don't know it's just not really my type of vehicle to call like a Batman vehicle but anyway on to the actual 
instruction booklet we have right here. In the back, it shows three different types of sets. It shows the one we just got right there, and it shows that one right there, which I already have in my possession right now, and I'm going to do a review on it soon. And this one, I'm never going to get it, because I already got the minifigure. I bought it online. I mean, like, it's cool, but, it, like, that that Batmobile is just awful. Like, that, that, that doesn't even look like a Batmobile. It just looks like a bulked-up vehicle that shouldn't be made. <laughs> but, like, the main reason why I, I wanted to get this set is because of that one. Because it's the Arkham Knight style of Batman. And that is, like, the coolest thing ever. But, yeah, that is pretty much it. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more great content. And I will talk to you all later. Dark Shadow out.